Okay, problem number five. Consider the curve, here it is, with P and Q are constant. So um, this is like the warm up we did in class today, Tuesday. Uh, we have a point that's on the curve, and the tangent to the curve at point A, so point A, remember, is at 1, 3. The tangent at point A has a gradient of 8, okay? Slope is equal to 8 at this point, 1, 3. Find the values of P and Q. Huh, interesting. I know a slope. So how do we get a slope? We get it from the first derivative. So I am just going to see what I can put together here. I have an x and I have a y. I have a slope. And I can get the first derivative to set equal to 8. That's one equation I can write. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to find my first derivative. 2 times p is 2px. 1 times q is q. So the first derivative is 2px plus q. I happen to know that the slope equals 8 when x equals 1. So the first derivative at 1, when x is 1, is equal to 8. And so that is the slope when x equals 1. So I can simplify that. 2p plus q is equal to 8. All right, that's stuck because I have a p and a q. I can't solve for either one. So what else do I know? Well, I have an x and a y, and another way of writing f of x is to write y. y equals px squared plus qx. So there's the second equation I could use. I can use that equation, and I can substitute in my 1 and my 3. So I have 3 is equal to p times 1 squared plus q times 1. So I'm just taking the original equation, and I know that when x is 1, y is 3. So I have a second equation, and I can simplify that. 1 squared is 1, so 1 times p is p, q times 1 is q. Now, notice, I have two equations that both have P and Q, so I can solve using a system of equations. I'm going to go ahead and stack this under here. I'm going to line up P plus Q is equal to 3. I also could have solved for one of the letters and used substitution, but I'm going to go ahead and use elimination. Um, I'm going to eliminate the Qs, but in order to do that, this needs to be a negative Q. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by negative 1. So I'm going to keep the original equation, 2p plus q equals 8. This one's going to become negative p minus q equals negative 3. Combine my like terms, 2p minus 1p is 1p. The q's are eliminated equals 5. I already found p. So now to find q, I just need to plug that back into one of my equations. I'll use this one. 3 is equal to 5 plus q. Subtract 5 from both sides. I get Q is equal to negative 2. So find the value of P and Q. I did it. And that's all I have to do.